Hi, I'm Julian David, representing OT1A. And now, I will, I will discuss to you the external anatomy of the frog. Let's go! Okay, this is the dorsal view of the external anatomy of the frog. First things first, this is the snout. The snout. And then, the external nares. The brow spot. And then, the upper eyelid. This is the upper eyelid. Then in the center, the, the nictitating membrane and lower eyelid. And then, this is the uh, nictitating membrane or no, tympanic membrane. Thus, that, that's the tympanic membrane. And then, we will go to the uh, uh, upper forearm. This is the forearm. And then, this is the arm. And then, digits of fingers. And then, we will go to the body. This is the median dorsal line at the center. And then, this is the hump. And then, anus here. And then, the thigh. The shank. The tarsus or ankle. And then prehalux, the extra finger. And then digits of toes. And then web. Web. Okay, that's all for dorsal view. In the ventral view, uh, this is the abdomen. And if, in, if you can see it, it has a darkly pigmented skin. And it has a swollen thumb. See? So, we can conclude that this is a meal. Hey everybody, I'm going to discuss today about the uh, muscular system of a frog. Uh, by the way, I am Gabriel Angelo Esquines from Occupational Therapy. Uh, come on guys, uh, let me do the review. Of this is the ventral view of the frog and we are going to discuss its muscular system for today. So the first part is the submentalis which is located over here. Then we have the geniohyoid, which is over here. But if you cut this out, uh, if you cut it out, you'll see the mylohyoid, which is apparently inside it. Uh, but we're not able to cut it. Then located over here is the sternoradialis. Uh, then as you can see over here is the cutaneous pectoralis. Um, here is the pectoralis epicoracoidea. Then pectoralis sternalis is located over here. They're not that prominent, but I guess in the test they're pointed uh, correctly. Uh, this is the scapulo humeralis over here. Then you can see the rectus abdominis over here but our frog is cut so I have to attach it this is the pectoralis abdominis right over here the sides then we have the inscriptionness inscriptionness tendine over here okay um, this is the, the external oblique one over here and here they're both at the other sides of it. Then this is the transversus, a small square-like uh, structure located here. Then we have the sartorius muscle, which is this cut region over here. This is the sartorius. Then we have the triceps femoris right over here. It's called triceps because uh, it is apparently like three muscles. Then. This is the sartorius muscle again. Then the adductor magnus over here. And the gracilis major over here. Then we have the gracilis minor over here. The semimembranosus over here. And we have the semitendinosus over here. Here. We have the gracilis major again, right over here, or the rectus internus, 
and we have the extensor curaris over here we have the tibialis anticus over here uh, flexor tarsi anterior over here tibialis posticus over here and the tendon of Achilles right over here this region, the tendon that one. Okay. This is the adductor magnus over here. This is the adductor magnus. Then the adductor longus right over here. Not the cat one. This one. And that's all for the muscular system. Thank okay. you. Let's start at the dorsal view of the frog. So this is the pterygoidus right over here then the temporalis as you can see at the either side of the frog then you can see the depressor mandibula right over here and the dorsalis capilla over here then you can see the cochlearis at the middle line uh, one over here then the lat latissimus dorsi over here then the external oblique the one at the either sides at the edge of the frog then you can see the longissimus dorsi right over here this this part then ilia lumbar is here the lines over here and you can see the coccygeo sacralis over here here near at the hump here. then you can see the Coccygeo iliacus here, here. Then you, you can see the gluteus, uh, the butt here, this, at the other side of the frog. Then you can see the vastus externus here, here. Vastus externus. Then you can see the triceps femoris muscle here. This is the triceps. Then the biceps femoris over here this is the biceps then we have the peranus and the gastrocnemius the tibialis anticus right over here then we also have the piriformis which are the two visible dotted structure right over here then we have the tendon of achilles right over here Hello, uh, so this is the buccal cavity of the frog. Uh, first, this is the median subrostal fossa at the center. And then, uh, pulvina rostrale, the, the, the two dots. And then, beside them is the la lateral subrostal fossa, here. And then, internal, internal nariz, here, here. And then beside them is the bomerin teeth here. And then bom and then the upper lip fold here. And then maxillary teeth here. And then orbital prominence, the two bones here. And then uh, we will go inside. Inside you will see the esophagus and then the station tube here the near the ears of the frog and then at the center uh, it is not prominent but in, inside you will see uh, the glottis and then the laryn laryngeal prominence that will that will surround the glottis and then tongue lower lip fold and then uh, tuberculum perlinguale here and then perlingual fossa and then deeper inside the buccal cavity you will see the vocal sac it is not also prominent but it is uh, a, a small dot it is smaller than the eustachian tube Okay. That's okay. I'm going to discuss about the heart of a frog. As you can see, it is quite different from the heart of a human because 
uh, frog's heart is only composed of three chamber three chambers while in the human it is composed of four chambers so let's start as you can see here in the frog's heart uh, uh, the left precava is located right up here uh, so blood will enter the left precava which is deoxygenated because it is already used by the internal organs of the frog then it will enter through the left precava and go to the pulmonoricular aperture which is located right over here there's a hole right here but it's not just prominent in this frog then it will go to the left auricle which is right here the left auricle then it will enter the blood will enter through a ventricular valve downwards which is right over here which is the auriculoventricular aperture auriculoventricular valve then it will go to the auriculoventricular opening here then it will enter the sino auricular aperture which is right over here there should be a hole right over here then it will go down and go to the uh, papillary muscles which are right down here while the ventricle is right down here then blood will enter the semilunar valve which is right here the semilunar valve then it will go upwards to the spiral valve and to the conus arteriosus right here and it will go to the carotid artery which is right over here then afterwards it will enter the right previ cava right pre cava right here and it will go to the right oracle conus arteriosus here and the spinal spiral valve over here so I'm going to discuss the internal organs of the frog uh, major internal organs so this one right here uh, it's uh, the heart then you can see the lungs right down here uh, where are the lungs okay this is a lung which is it has the alveoli right there then you can see the you can see the other internal organs down below so this is the liver then you can see the ilium right here the coiled the most the most coiled part of the small intestine then you can see the duodenum right here and here is the stomach which is right here um, then you can see the corpora adiposa down below the yellow part right there that's the corpora adiposa then okay, as you go deeper you can see other internal organs mm. uh, I'm still trying to look for the gallbladder I think the pancreas is Congress is right here down down the liver yeah. then you can see the testis which is the white part right there that's the testis there then you can see the large intestine which is down below here that is the large intestine that is the large intestine then you can see the urinary bladder here like a filled sac then the cloaca right down there then you can see the gulb then you can see the gulb bladder right here that black part then down below is the spleen right there that's the spleen then you can see the kidneys oh, where are the kidneys right there those those are the kid that's the kidney then the last part is the anus which is the hole that leads to the outside of the body okay. now i will discuss the digestive system of the frog first the esophagus here is the esophagus now this is the liver now 
uh, below the liver you will see the cystic duct and the hepatic duct but here because this, the frog is small uh, it is not prominent so we will proceed to the gallbladder here is the gallbladder here and then we will go to uh, the stomach this is the stomach and the parts of the stomach is here this is the greater curvature and lesser curvature and then and then this is the pyloric constriction here and then in the pyloric constriction uh, th there is the duodenum that is attached to the pyloric constriction and then we, we, we proceed to the ileum the most cold part of the intestines and then we will go to the large intestines I will open it this is the large intestines here and then in the large intestine at the middle part that is that is the mesorectum and then cloaca and then below the cloaca is the anus here okay that's all